paint in different ways. Uh, one way I love painting is outdoors to paint the actual scenery that I see. That is really exciting and that gives you this kind of vibration. And then another way is maybe to paint um, quick sketches that I've done outdoors um, with, with oil paints or with um, pencil. And then to bring them indoors so they're a little bit more abstracted and they're coming more from me rather than me comparing to the landscape all the time. Well, you know, Liz's personality is obvious in her images because of the vibrancy of the color and the energy that is inherent in the images because Liz is an energetic person. I wouldn't say she's hyperactive, but if she isn't, she's right on the border. Uh, and of course, it takes someone like me to identify someone like that because I'm on that border as well. Sometimes the things that look kind of muddy actually give you a lot of depth and richness because they're made up of all these complementary colors that you've been playing with. So they'll go with everything because they're part of everything. Basically, uh, I think her whole life revolves around art, not only contemporary art, but historical art as well, as uh, exemplified by her having uh, bought and living on a piece of property which was owned by uh, Charles Rollo Peters back uh, at the turn of the century. Liz has restored it in a very faithful way, and uh, she went one step further uh, when she was uh, rehabilitated Monet's garden. She continually or repeatedly from that time has photographed the garden at various seasons of the year. And today she still practices photography. Uh, her photography today is more like, uh, shall we say, painterly photography. She composes an image photographically and then uh, she alters that image on the Polaroid print with uh, an instrument like a toothpick or whatever and then in a painterly manner she then uh, alters that photograph even more and uh, so I guess you might end up calling it a painterly photograph as opposed to someone looking at a photograph and says, oh that looks very painterly. Liz's are painterly photographs. Around this area we have so many beaches and there'd be places where I could paint outdoors where not only was the weather changing and the light changing but even the way the ocean and the rivers moved that the landscape would change in a couple hours and so you'd have to look quickly to capture something and that is very compelling to me that's really exciting I love that. <laughs> but one of my real really important dreams to me is to paint really big and to paint abstract and I don't want to show up in just like a little safe way. I know I have a lot of power and a lot of uh, vision, so it's, um, this is something I'm really, um, really wanting to do, you know, to get messy. So anyway, that's one of my dreams, one of my many dreams.